Hello, this is Chris Menard. It is Saturday, April 18th, 2020. Microsoft Teams has rolled out a new feature. Uh, Teams, when you go into videos, now has virtual backgrounds. So let's go take a look to see how they work. Uh, are there any limitations to them? I already have Teams pulled up, and I'm going to start a video conference with Christian. So a video call. Christian does my website. He's the one that put all the free video virtual backgrounds on my website too. Let's hope he answers. Hey. Hey, all right. Much better. Here we go. So <laughs> uh, I already did my intro, so you don't have to listen to me go through that again. So I'm going to turn my... Uh, okay. Can you see me first of all? Yeah, I can, yeah. Okay, all right. So the video, the virtual backgrounds, and I don't believe they have video, are under more actions. Show background effects pops up over to the right. There's my default, which is none. So I'm just going to scroll through here, let you take a look at how many are in here first. They're all images. I'm noticing that they're all images. I don't see anything that's a video. Uh, Zoom has this, but remember, Microsoft just came out with this. So I'm sure they're going to be adding more. Let me pick something. Uh, I have an option for preview. Others won't see your video while you hit preview. So let's test that. Yeah. So Christian, I'm in preview and you don't see me or you do? I don't see you at all, no. Don't see me at all. Okay, so I'm going to hit... Um, okay, there we go. So I, how about now? Can you see me right now? Nope. Very good. So I'm going to stop preview and then I'm going to apply and turn on the one that I have checked. Let's see if this works. And now Christian should see me when I hit apply. Yeah. And I don't have to leave this running. I can close it to save some real estate. So hopefully I have a background of something behind me. Yeah, you Very do. Very good. Okay, I'm going to change it one more time. And then I've got a question for Christian to answer. Because he, there's some features he uses in here when we're having our meetings. I'm going to pick this one. And apply. Changed. Okay, so I noticed... The image backgrounds are pretty cool. What I didn't see in there is Microsoft's always had a feature where you can blur your background. Uh, did that yeah, go that's away? Yeah, still there, I think. Okay. It's still there, I think, if you open the panel. Let me just uh, go. If you open the panel, just the first option is to remove your background, and then next to that one, there seems to be a blurry background. So if I apply that to myself, you should yep. see my background blurred now. I do, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so you would use that, I guess, if you're having a meeting and your kitchen's messy or in your living room and it's messy or somewhere that you don't want people to see the background. It doesn't have to be messy. You just yeah. don't want people to blur out the background, so that worked. All righty. Um, what I don't see in here, I just want to point this out. Again, I don't see video virtual backgrounds, but Microsoft just came out with this. And by the way, they have a lot of them in here. They actually have more images in here than Zoom does by default, but I don't see an option to add, but I'm sure that'll be coming. Yeah. Um, I'm running an Intel i7 processor, and so this is working pretty well for me. This looks all right for me. I'm moving my hand around. Yeah, right. That looks pretty okay. good. Christian, what are you on? I'm on a I'm on the latest generation. It's a nice seven ninth generation, but I don't think this matters too much with static images, though. Okay. I know it does have to do some computation there to remove your your background and stuff. But uh, I think this will be more important when they bring out the video uh, backgrounds because those are require I think much more computation than yeah images. Okay. So right. we'll see. But I'm guessing you won't be able to get away with having it on a, like a dual core or um, some like i3s and stuff, you know, possibly quad core and i5 and, and, and better than that, it's going to work on, I think. Well, it depends. Maybe magical tricks are something that Microsoft can do, but <laughs> All right. I doubt. <laughs> okay. I do appreciate this. I hope you have a great day. Uh, just sent you a chat, by the way. So we'll, we'll talk later. Sure. Yeah. All right. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Anyway, there is Microsoft's virtual background using images. It worked. I liked it. Uh, I don't even have a green screen behind me. I just got a wall. Thank you for your time. Everyone have a good weekend.